Welcome back. I am Olivia Williams from Mantic Home, and in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget friendly decor crafts. So, I love to share with you all how you can make your home's booty gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. I'm also bringing back my love and your love of shabby chic decorating. And if you don't love that type of decorating, that's okay. Simply take my ideas, change up the paint color, the ribbon color and make them match your personal decor style. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Livy's Romantic Home Facebook page. And without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. Let me share with you guys how I'm going to jazz up these super adorable Dollar Tree bunnies. We're going to create a shabby chic romantic style with them. These are $3 bunnies from the Dollar Tree Plus section. And I'm just taking these little mini roses. They're little fabric roses. You can order a big old giant pack on Amazon or also find some at your craft store. Or you can just use some little flowers that you might have on hand. The next thing I'm doing is adding in some little lace to their ears. I got a big pack pack of lace for two dollars at my local flea market and I have just been loving doing some new shabby chic crafts go back and watch my last two videos if you all love shabby chic decor or romantic cottage decor in general I decided to make a little collar around her neck with some vintage lace and then I'm going to take and repurpose some of this ribbon from a couple of seasons back it's pink ribbon I just hot glued the ribbon end to end to create a cute little bow and then I'm making a shoelace bow which is a bow that you tie like how you would tie your shoelaces with lace and I'm going to add that to my pretty pink bow I'm going to layer another bow on top of that then I added in a tiny little cottage rose and some more um, coordinating roses so she's going to be a blooming romantic shabby chic cottage bunny I think this is such a fun way to make a unique decor piece. I decided to make a mister for her. So I'm going to take this Dollar Tree Blue Gingham Check Ribbon. And he's going to be romantic as well. So he's going to get dolled up as well. But we're just going to use blue for him. These are so sweet to make for your Easter spring decor. It's also an idea for you guys to make these for a baby shower or a baby room if you're decorating, especially in the Peter Rabbit style. For his ears, I'm gonna be adding in some little blue roses. I chose light blue and dark blue, and I'm simply adding them to the crown. So we're making kind of like a floral crown. Then I'm creating a similar bow to the pink one where I just take some gingham ribbon, hot glue it end to end, pinch it in the center and tie it off. And then I'm gonna hot glue it on the opposite side of his neck so they can kind of sit together um, and be touching and not, you know, in interfere with each other's bows. The next thing I would do is take some of this Dollar Tree gingham ribbon. I found it in the Easter section. I'm gonna tie a cute little um, shoelace bow again, hot glue that around his neck and then add in a pretty um, a little mini rose to the center of that and then I did add in some little roses to the feet of my little pink girl bunny and here is the finished project I think this is such a fun way to jazz up the Dollar Tree Easter bunnies you can also find Easter bunnies like this in the Target dollar spot or your local craft store so happy crafting and I hope you're enjoying the shabby chic cottage style more to come this DIY, I want to share with you all how you can make a vintage teacup stand. So simply grab um, a candlestick base. You can find them at thrift stores, Dollar Tree, or Hobby Lobby. Then the next thing I want to do is use hot glue. You can also use E6000 glue. I'm using hot glue in case I change my mind and want to remove the teacup from the candlestick. So you're going to simply add a big old giant of hot glue. Now if you want this to be permanent, maybe you're going to resell it or you just don't want it to teeter-totter off, you want to use E6000 glue, which is a bonding glue um, or Gorilla glue and it will stay on there permanently. So I'm just gently pressing this down so the whole thing will stick together. The next thing I wanna do is decorate this. So there's so many fun ways you can decorate your teacup. We're gonna make this into a blooming teacup and I'm gonna add in some Dollar Tree moss. I'm gonna simply just kind of zhuzh it around and I did add a pretty sizable amount of moss to my teacup to kind of get it a little bit firmer inside of there. 
That way I could add some decor. Now this is a fun way to just jazz up a little space and make it really cottage chic. I pick up teacups all the time at thrift stores and this is one of my favorites. The next thing I wanna do is add in some pretty greenery because we are making this into a blooming teacup. I added a pretty rose to the center. I don't have any roses the color of the teacup, but if I go thrifting again, I'm definitely going to look for some. The next thing I decided to do was take some Dollar Tree eggs. These are the little eggs on a stick and they come six to 12 to a pack. And I simply trim them down with my wire cutters and I'm gonna gently pop them into my little blooming teacup floral idea. Let me know what you all think about this. I think that this is a super fun way to jazz up a vintage teacup. Also, do you think I should paint the base of this? Here is the finished project. Let me know what you guys think. I do think though I should add in some um, like um, a color that's that deeper kind of maroon color to really tie everything together. Maybe even deco parse those eggs. And here's my little puppy dog, Benji Bear. He wants to say hi to all the puppy dog and kitty cat kitty cat fans out there he loves to be my right hand man my little studio assistant he's always there ready to play look at that he has such a sassy attitude <laughs> For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take one of these Dollar Tree little turntables. I found this last season in the Dollar Tree Plus section, and I want to jazz it up and make it a spring Easter decor piece. So I'm taking this Farm Fresh calendar. I flipped to um, April and found this super adorable little cottage bunny. Isn't it so cute? Now this calendar is from 2022, so I'm so sorry that you might not be able to find this exact calendar in your store but you guys can look for the new farm calendar at Dollar Tree or you guys could simply print out um, you know a picture of a bunny or use a bunny napkin there's a lot of ideas for how you could guys could kind of recreate this um, if you go to graphicsfairy.com you'll find a lot of different printables all you have to do is type in vintage Easter or vintage bunny you could also go to your search engine of your computer and type in free printable bunny and you could easily print out a bunny um, that's just an idea but I just had this on hand so again I apologize that this is an old calendar and piece but it's more of an idea for how you guys can take and repurpose an item that you might already have and just make it seasonal decor so basically this little turntable is kind of like a faux wood piece and I pop the picture down inside of it now you could easily do this on a plate and I've shared with you guys so many different bunny plates over the seasons um, this is my sixth year on YouTube and posting videos on Facebook so you guys can find so many different tutorial ideas you can simply search my channel for Easter or bunny DIY decor ideas but to do this on a plate I have used a bunny gift bag that I found at Walmart I've used bunny napkins I've used bunny cards so you could really get creative and think outside the box so I used waterproof Mod Podge that way I could use this in a kitchen or just on a side table and display a pretty little Easter display idea now Mod Podge is not food safe so I don't recommend setting food directly on this project but you could easily use like you know um, some pretty little stands, dessert stands, and set some decorative or some food items if they're on top of something else to where they're not touching the turntable. But this is a fun and fabulous decor idea. So, so budget friendly. I feel like it looks so custom and it was literally, um, you know, five, six dollars to make. So I hope you guys are inspired and happy crafting.
let me share with you a thrift flip or a thrift store upcycle. I found this picture at the thrift store. Actually, I think my daughter might have brought this home from the thrift store. Anyway, it was a thrifted picture for a couple bucks. I'm simply going to remove the original decor, set it aside in case I change my mind. And what I want to do is take some white chalk paint and I'm simply going to chalk paint the entire frame. I did do two coats of this chalk paint. Um, you could also uh, spray paint it if that's easier for you. Sometimes painting by brush hand can be a little bit tedious. If you don't have chalk hand on hand, it's easy to make chalk paint. You simply add some baking soda to your regular paint. Um, super easy there. So I usually take like a cup of regular paint and then add half a cup of baking soda and you wanna mixy, mixy, mixy that up. So this is some regular paint that I had done that too. I mixed in some baking soda. It will make it a little bit grainy, but it's great for craft projects like this. Um, wouldn't recommend it probably for painting a furniture set, but for doing little fun craft projects, super easy. I also like to um, let you guys know you can take big makeup brushes and those make really nice paint brushes. If you guys have old makeup brushes that have seen better days, don't toss them out. Repurpose and reuse them in your craft area. So I'm just finishing up putting on the coats of paint. Now I am hosting a $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. So I would love to hear, let's do a question and answer. So I would love to hear what your middle name is. I'm going to share my middle name and it is Autumn. So I'm Olivia Autumn. What is your middle name? Let's get to know each other a little bit better. And that's going to give you guys a chance to enter into my $100 Hobby Lobby gift card giveaway. The winner is going to be announced March 28th. So the next thing I want to do to make this into a cottage to piece is I'm going to take this old sheet that I found at the thrift store. It did have some stains on it, but I washed it up, bleached it, you know, made sure it was all nice and clean. And I'm simply going to hot glue it to the back of my frame. Super easy. And this is going to make a beautiful cottage decor piece. You guys could also hot glue it to a piece of foam board and make it kind of like a cut or a piece of bulletin board and make it into like a little cork board for a kiddo's bedroom or even for your kitchen or for your office. So once I have it hot glued, I simply add it in a little hanger to the back and bam, we have a cottage decor piece on a total budget. Happy crafting. Let's create some beautiful shabby chic or cottage inspired kind of blooming candles. So from Amazon, I love to order the flickering flameless candles. You can also find them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Dollar General. You can even sometimes find them at Dollar Tree. And I found these cute little napkins at the thrift store. What I want to do is take some Mod Podge and apply a layer of Mod Podge to the outside of my candle and then simply gently lay my napkin down on top of the candle. So this gives you the ability to create any decorative candle and it's such a pretty glow when you've mod podged a pretty fabric to the outside of your candle and then you turn it on and it's glowing at night it's almost like a kind of like a little fairy magical um, candle which I think is fun this project is also very safe to ha um, have your kids participate in so you could give them some little kids scissors and have them help cut out the napkin part and give them some little um, you know paint brushes and have them help you add the glue on now I would do the napkin and the mod podging on top of it if you do have, have your kids help you, tell them to be really gentle because I did tear my napkin in a couple places. So I added a layer of Mod Podge on the base of my candle, added the napkin, and then added another layer on the outside of my candle. And I used just one napkin for this project. I got really lucky with these napkins because they were printed, the, um, it was printed the print of the flowers was printed on the entire napkin. Sorry, I'm not for sure why I lost what I was trying to say there. But what I was trying to say is that I bought these napkins at the thrift store. They looked to me to be kind of vintagey. 
um, or the pattern was a little bit vintagey, but the pattern was on the entire napkin. So I only had to use one napkin. Here is how it turned out. I think it looks so magical. This is also a great way to get a designer look on a budget. So say you like Mackenzie Child's designs or any kind of designer look, you can order their napkins, which are usually super cheap on their websites if they do home decor take those and mod podge them onto anything you can get your hands on and then you have that kind of high-end decor piece on a total budget let me know what you guys are looking forward to this weekend me personally i have a pretty free weekend it's the weekend before easter and um so i'm gonna try to do some gardening at least get some plants out and there's my puppy dog benji bear i don't know about you guys but my puppy dog barks at the tv he barks at birds other dogs animals or if people are fighting he doesn't like that <laughs> Um, but this is a pretty happy bark. I don't know if you guys can tell his tail is wagging. So guaranteed there's a puppy dog on the TV that he's barking at. Now let me share with you a shabby chic a thrift flip book idea. So our local um, library has books that they'll put out that have had some water damage and they'll be like 10 to 15 cents. And I like to buy them for craft projects and no book was harmed in the making of this project. I know some of you all love your books, but I'm gonna simply take some white chalk paint and I'm gonna white chalk paint the outside of the front cover of the book. Then I wanna take some pretty Hobby Lobby paper and I even got this paper I think when they had their paper crafts like 40% off so super inexpensive I added a piece of hot glue I wrapped the pretty paper around it loosely that way if you want to open and close the book it's available to do that I'm gonna add another dollop of hot glue in and around kind of the spine of the book and again I loosely did this and then I'm just going to turn it over I found a pretty little um, scrapbooky piece of paper. It has a mom with her daughter and son. I just thought it was super sweet. These would make also great gifts too, you know, if you have a special loved one. And then I decided to go to town embellishing and outlining this kind of in a Victorian style where you're using a lot of trims. So again, this is from my stash of lace that I found for $2, a whole bag of it. I'm gonna simply add it along the spine here and it's also gonna cover up kind of the rough edges of my paper crafting. These are really fun to make for scrapbooks or for really any project that you just kind of want to make into kind of a shabby chic Victorian idea. Um, I love doing these scrapbooky projects. I love paper crafts almost just as much as I love doing floral design. I feel like it's a really intimate way to craft. And so also let me know what your favorite book is that you've been reading so far this season. I love to do audiobooks. Um, my eyes really bother me at night. So even though I have glasses to wear in the evening, they're just so tired. And when I read, it seems to put me to sleep. But if I turn on an audiobook, um, I can easily binge listen to an entire book. I do love to listen to Christian romances, um, you know, authors that do Christian um, romances and I also love mysteries I'm a big mystery gal so I love solving the puzzle or you know that kind of stuff so I just painted the the back of it and then added a dollop, dollop of hot glue and here is how my beautiful little shabby chic book turned out Thank you all so, so much for watching my videos, for sharing them, for encouraging me. I hope to be an encouragement and a source of light and comfort to you all as well. No matter where you at, what you have going on in your family, in your heart, in your home, make your home a safe space, make it a cozy space. And maybe you can't decorate it all in shabby chic, but maybe you could decorate a little table in your bedroom or your bathroom or a little closet, you know, make it into a prayer closet. Here's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. He wants to say hi to all his kitty cat and puppy dog fans. He loves playing tug of war with mama. So we love y'all so, so much. Thank you for being here and many blessings to you. Thank you all so much.
so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I want to thank all of my long-term watchers, subscribers, viewers. Thank you all so, so much. I am a DIY crafty mama for all of you all that are new. I love to share boutique gorgeous ideas on a budget. Um, I'm an 80s, 90s gal, so I love big bows. I love um, beautiful painted decor items, um, vintage teacups. I love a lot of romantic decor and ideas, but I love to change up my style as well. So just saying that because you guys can always take any of my ideas and change up the paint color or the ribbon color or the napkin color really to tailor suit your style. And if you don't see something in this video, trust me, I probably have created a video on it. This is my sixth season on YouTube doing Dollar Tree and budget friendly DIY decor crafts and decorating ideas. So go back and check out any of my playlists. Also, if you're a year round Christmas or fall lover, I have done so many videos um, for fall decor and I decorate my whole home head to toe and I usually do my own home decor. So I create out my own florals and garlands and wreaths. So I have a plethora, um, a huge library of playlists on my YouTube channel. You'll simply go to my YouTube channel and click on the playlist that you love. I also have crafting and decorating marathons um, with, you know, 20 to 40 to 60 to 70 DIYs in one video. And thank you all for watching those videos because that keeps my channel going. Um, I'm a one woman show. I buy all of my own materials. I create all of my own content. I edit, um, you know, all of my content. I do all of my own marketing, um, just basically posting ideas, you know. So, um, and originally I went to school to be a school teacher, didn't even finish that degree. And then I went on to be an activities director. And then I had an Etsy shop where I crafted beautiful over the top florals for specific pretty much specific Victorian pink homes. So then I went on to YouTube and I am thankful and blessed to have you here. I'm thankful and blessed to have the opportunity to share my love of crafting and decorating with you all. And I know some of you all even watch my videos just for entertainment purposes. I don't particularly find myself super entertaining. Um, I'm just a mama and you know, I just love homemaking and I love crafting and decorating. I've loved that ever since I was a little girl. If I would see, you know, a dandelion I would pick it and make little bouquets or I'd make collages or different things like that so, so thank you guys again for being here don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel share my content go over to my facebook page I have a free little group page um, I try to pop in there a couple times a week again I am in a one woman show and I do all of this in between momming and taking care of my home and my family so um, thank you for prayers for my sister Bree. She is going through a major health crisis and event. Um, you know, and I know some of you guys are also going through major health crises and event. And if you need prayers, drop those prayer requests down below. I'm truly so proud of this community because I feel like that this is a community of like-minded um, ladies and gents, you know, I've seen so many of you guys pray for one another, share scripture, share recipes, share your dog's, you know, favorite um, fun thing or name or different things like that. So let's light up this comment section with positivity because, you know, we're all going to go through things in our day, in our life, in our week, in our month, in our year. And those things have the tendency as we get older to kind of bury us and we don't want to get buried. We want to keep moving. I think that's also maybe why I love seasonal decor because every, you know, season there's something new to look forward to. I think every season has its goodness. Um, I'm blessed to live in a spot where there are four full seasons for the most part. Uh, we used to get a lot more winter than we do now, but I feel like, you know, spring is that season of hope. Everything is beginning to bloom and flourish and, you know, it's just a season of new beginnings. And so I think you can take that idea, you know, with spring and think about those new beginnings, you know, and then as summer moves through, you know, I feel like summer is joy and playtime and kids are out of school so we get to spend time with them. It's hot and sunny and our plants flourish. And then it moves on to fall where the focus is thankfulness and gratefulness. And then into Christmas where the focus, you know, is, you know, the just winter and, you know, kind of homemaking. And for me personally, um, the 
birth of Christ. So anyway, I am a faith-based mama and um, I do my best and I fail every day, but every day is a new day and I try to do my best every day. So if you guys are out there doing your best, keep going, put, keep putting one foot in front of the other. I didn't mean to get on any type of like speech or anything, but you know, I just know how short life is. So I love y'all. I hope you're having a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed weekend. We are going to continue on. I am starting to get my gardening heart back in and looking forward to thinking about what I want to put out in my garden. I don't really even have a particular garden, but um, I'm looking forward to planting some pretty flowers this year. So anyway, thank you guys for being here. I'll let you guys get back to your day. And until our next video, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Storm, a lightning strike as we hold each other.